Alright, welcome to my second redstone portion tutorial. Uh, basically, we're going to be learning the basics. Last time it was just absolute basic. Now we're going to be learning some some of the circuits, which are going to be your basic building blocks to build bigger and better structures. So, moving right along, let's try to get as many fit in as possible. I'm going to be moving probably pretty fast. So, I may recommend re-watching this video and potentially going to the link in the description which goes, uh, links you to Minecraft Wiki and there you'll find all of the circuits that I'm going to mention in this video plus more. So let's get right along with it. Um, you got your basic input output right here. Very very simple. Gonna need some redstone torches. Redstone torch. Alright, here we go. Alright, very simple. Just input right here. Well, technically it would be boom, input. You're inputting. And then you got your. <clears throat> That's just called a regular input output gate. Very simple. I definitely went over it in my previous videos. Now, this is going to be a not gate. Uh, and this was actually used in the repeater when I showed you how to make a custom repeater. Basically, it inverts your charge. You're coming in with a uh, charged redstone, you come out with not charged. Hence, the not. Names make sense. No charge, you got charge. Alright, moving right along. Uh, that's pretty basic. Um, then you move on to the nor gate, where basically... Well, okay, here, this is the NOR gate, pretty much, none of these can be, okay, if any of these are on, the wire is off. If this is on, wire is off. If the one over here is on, wire is off. If they're both on, wire is still off. And of course, these can be, you know, brought along from redstone torches and really, you could do it with a third link as well. On, that's off. So pretty, pretty simple um, <clears throat> unit here. Basically, it could be used for uh, just pretty much most circuits could potentially use it. Now moving right along, get to something a little bit. Now, well, let's go through the OR. The OR is basically the inverse of this. All it is is um, if either of these are on then you have power if they're both on you have power it's the inverse of that generally if you're adding a torch to the block it'll be the inverse of it and you're gonna have the inverse for the majority of all the of all the circuits that I'm gonna teach you so moving right along clear out a little room here. Now we get into something a little more advanced, but something you will use in a majority of your circuits. I'll give you a quick example. You'll use this in any uh, or in a lock sequence. If you're trying to make like a sequence of switches that you gotta pull in the correct order for it to work, you'll use a conjunction of these combined together. And I'll go ahead and make you a video on that later, how to specifically make a lock junction. Uh, but, here we go. Both of these switches are off right now, therefore, you're not receiving output. If this is on, still no output. They both have to be on, and if you haven't already guessed it, this is going to be the AND gate. So here you got one off that's off but this is on they both have to be on and if you look at the mechanics of it basically you receive input from the sides remember but up here this is giving you output because it is the the redstone is on the side of the torch therefore it's giving output but even though this torch is off this torch is still on it has to be turned off before this torch block is receiving no power and like I said, you can give power to a block from the top, which they did here. And 
Now the torch is finally on. So both have to be on for this to be on. That's your AND gate. Alright. Now, move right along from there. You got your repeater, which I'll go ahead and repeat. Uh, basically, well now they have the repeater itself. But before the repeater, this was just used really to extend your signal, mostly. And it's just a combination of a double negativing gate. Basically, it would give you two negatives linked together, and two negatives make a positive. So if you come in with a positive, you come out with a positive, but it extends your range. And I told you in the last video that you only have a range of about 16 blocks from your source. This just extends it that much more, and you can repeat it as much as you want. Really, if you're using it only for rep repetition, probably would be quite a bit easier for you to just go ahead and use a repeater itself. My bad. Alright. And from there we can move on to... Oh, let's see. The NAND gate. Obviously, that's the opposite of the AND gate here. And the NAND gate, instead of having a torch here, you simply just don't. Boom. Both of these are on no output. It's the opposite of what you got. One of them is on, you have an output. Neither of them on, or you have an output. So it's the inverse of what you had before. Just to make it a little bit easier. Now, let's get into something just a tad more advanced. It's called a switch. And it is used in probably the majority of complex redstone circuits. And Basically what it'll do, it's used with buttons, mostly with buttons, and the reason behind that is because a button only gives a charge for a certain amount of time before it is un unbuttoned. So let me give you a little demonstration here. And spawn, oh, there's the button. Spawn some buttons. Boom. Button here. It's plush, 